if it was a toddler that had dashed out into the middle of the road. What should you do first then? You also check for oncoming traffic. Absolutely. So you didn't get knocked down. Yeah. Absolutely. If it's toddler in your care, it's not likely to be your first thought. If you were to dash out, the car that's hit them knows exactly what's happened. The car coming round the corner has not got a clue. So you need to make sure that everybody knows what's happened and it is safe. Okay. What I thought I'd do very quickly is briefly go through when you move someone and when you don't. <coughs> if you have somebody that has been hit by a car and they are lying in the road and you can see that they are conscious, what would be sensible to do or say right at the start? Ask them where it hurts or what. <laughs> do you know what I'd like you to do? I'd like you to say, keep still! I'm coming over. It makes more sense when we have one this size rather than that size. Okay? So I'd like you to say, keep still! I'm coming over. Don't move. Now, the average child, if you shout that assertively to them, will do exactly as you say. They will be so scared by what has happened that they will lie there and that will allow you to come round to support their head and neck without covering their ears and to just assess what has happened to make sensible decisions. You should keep them warm, you should keep them dry and if, you know, if the car had obviously stopped in time and it wasn't so serious you could get them up but otherwise if they have been hit by that car and you are worried that they could have a spinal injury you keep them completely flat Keep them warm, keep them dry, and get the emergency services on the way. Okay. Um, if they are lying there and they are unresponsive, and we'll be going into this in a minute and to exactly how you assess what's going on, they're unresponsive, but they're breathing. If you leave them on their back, because everyone around you is going, don't move them, did you see they went flying, you must have a spinal injury. They will die in front of you. Because they are not conscious enough to keep their airway open. So you will need to very, very carefully put them into a position where the contents of their stomach will drain out and their tongue will flop forward. If they are unconscious and not breathing, you will need to resuscitate. And you cannot worry about a possible spinal injury when you are pushing on the chest with all your might. Because any possible spinal injury, and you don't know for certain, any possible spinal injury is of far less significance than the fact that if you leave them where they are, they will be dead. Yeah.